Hi, I'm Jason with Priority Maintenance. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be putting polyurethane on this uh, butcher block here. So this butcher block's already been stained. Uh, polyurethane is a good finished coat, makes it a little shiny. It protects it from being scratched or, or damaged. Um, so what we've done, we've went ahead and we've taped off our edges, we, just in case we don't wanna drip anything on the cabinet itself or get it on the wall or this backsplash here. Uh, we're going to use this mini wax, it's fast drying polyurethane. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut in our edges here. So, just kind of like painting, you just want to get a little bit on your brush, make sure you're not dripping. Kind of put it on, not, not, not too thick, uh, not too thin, just enough for it to, to cover on your first coat. It's, this is a two coat process so what we'll do is we'll get our first coat on <clears throat> we'll sand it down with a fine sandpaper like a 220, 320 and then we'll go ahead and apply a second coat on afterwards. So here we are, we're wrapping up. Got just about this whole thing covered with our first coat of polyurethane. And all we gotta do now is wait for it to dry. This is a fast drying polyurethane. According to the instructions, about three to four hours. We'll probably give it five or six. Uh, we'll let this dry and then we'll hit it again with a uh, second coat after we do a sand on it. All right, now that our first coat has dried, it's been about four hours, we're gonna go ahead and take some 200 grit sandpaper and we're gonna lightly sand it down. Now, if we wanna do this, make get any air bubbles that are in there, rough it up a little bit so we can put our second final coat on. Now, it's important when you're sanding, you wanna go with the grain of the wood. You don't wanna go against it. Lightly sand it, keep going. And like I said, we're not trying to take off much material here. Just to give it a little, make it a little smoother. All right, now that we're done with this, we want to get a, a lint-free cloth. And we'll just wipe it down, get rid of that dust. All right, now we're ready to put our second coat on. 
Okay, now that we've wiped it down, we have no dust on the surface, we'll go ahead and apply our second coat, same way we did on the first coat. Cut in our edges. that done, go ahead and apply that second coat. Yeah. The second coat here, uh, it goes on a lot smoother since we already have that first coat. We'll just go ahead and apply it not too thick, just like the first coat. We don't want to apply too much to where it drips or makes any bubbles. This is more of a finish coat just to make it real smooth and shiny basically. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to, to do this. Alright, now we're wrapping up. What we'll do now after this is we're going to let it dry. And we'll wait for it to dry before we pull off any of our tape. <clears throat> just in case we do get a little drip somewhere, which we shouldn't. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Alright, so there we have it, our second coat. We're going to let it dry about four hours. And I'm Jason with Priority Maintenance. Thanks for stopping by.